Hi there, welcome to my channel. Let's sit back and enjoy as I bring you into this walkthrough with me in the first mission called There and Back Again. I must warn you, it's really scary apocalyptic game as you will feel like you are inside the game experiencing the scenic dark and twisted wall of a futuristic wasteland. Do see this video until to the end because I will share a secret tip. To be honest with you, I know nothing about this game and neither did I play Stalker 1 which was released 15 years ago. So as you venture this first mission with me, it will be thrilling yet exciting. So you are the hero of Stalker 2 in which a mysterious artifact blasted through its way into your home. So this first artifact is how you begin the journey. Very interesting I must say, how they kick off the storyline. There's a cutscene coming up, giving some brief introduction. I will let you listen to it. Last question, Dr. Dalek. Are you sure the perimeter surrounding the zone is really enough? If a powerful emission were to occur, we would... Listen, the zone has remained stable for years. Besides, we didn't establish the most advanced institution in human history without first guaranteeing its safety. As the head of the Scientific Institute for Research of the Chernobyl area, or Circa for short, I believe the wonders that we will bring to the world far outweigh the potential risks. How big are these risks exactly? <laughs> the zone reveals a whole new world. We can stick with the old one, fearing change. But tell me, do you want our descendants to remember us as cowards? Or as those who dared to venture forward to a new, better humanity? The injured were evacuated. I remind our listeners that a similar incident happened in our region quite recently, ruining homes and livelihoods. City officials urge people to stay calm, assuring them the situation is totally under control. Alive back there? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Zone is really raging today. See that? It was a hell of a blast. Can't remember one. It's so fierce. Are we uh, close? Uh, kind of. The central checkpoint could be on alert after the emission, but there's another way in. Crack in the wall to the left of the fault. Bugger off! Hope you didn't lose your secret artifact along the way. If it was outside the zone for too long, it would have lost its anomalous energy. <clears throat> but I've got this shiny metal thing to recharge it. One lucky activation, and we have a gold mine here. Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. I say again, Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. Show me what you found. What the hell is this? I've seen artifacts taken from the zone before. They always burn out and fall apart real fast. But this one? This one is not from the zone. Oh, I bet. Where'd you find it? In my... laundry basket. <sighs> Who do you think you're talking to, huh? You have any idea what this scanner cost me? If it's not an artifact, it's gonna blow us all to hell! 
I won't let my hard work come to nothing because of you. I won't let you push it down the shit. I... This stone owes me a new home. We gotta move. Get to the scientist's bunker. Nehoda will explain how to proceed with the scanner. He's waiting for you. Good luck. All right, here we go. To be honest with you, I didn't expect that I will start the game in a dark, spooky forest. Actually, this is my weakness. I'm not really into horror games. I really have a weakness for them. That's why I don't play Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Okay, so where do we go now? I hate jump scares. They better not be like a monster or a ghost jump in front of me. Does any one of you play Silent Hill? Do let me know in the comment which is scarier, this or Silent Hill. Anyway, where do we go from here? I think the only way is to just follow the light. Yep, over there. What is that? But actually the graphics is actually quite amazing. But the only downside is it's dark and you can't see anything much. F pick up, F use. What's the difference? Can we go through here? Oh man, so much noise. Weird noises around me are really creeping me out. Looks like nothing here. Maybe time to move on. Hmm. Canned food. How do I switch to knife? So you press number one, you'll be equipped with a knife. Okay, there's surely something in this room. Mission accomplished. We just opened a few doors and a few locks and mission accomplished. Oh my god, what the heck is that? What is that? There's a dead guy here. You better be dead. Oh, 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 what is that? I took cover, the electric ball was just behind me. I think there's some things I can collect here. Oh my god! Oh my god, the background noise, the background music is giving me a lot of suspense and stress. Oh my god! I really feel like I'm being inside this game. Okay, nothing else here. Let's move on. Finally, an exit. Docker 3, we've got a breach at the new camp. The bunker's 
looks like someone or some enemy is out there in the forest. You know, there's a relief to escape the sewer, but then a new fear unlocked is where I have to enter another dark forest. Oh, oh, I hear something. What the heck is that? Fuck! Sorry, sorry, mind my language. Oh my god. Thank god these two are dead. Holy sh... Did I just kill an innocent creature or puppy or dog? Nah, I don't think so. It looks like a creature. Am I supposed to walk through the river or... You know what's the scary thing about the river and especially at night? It's really bad that it's dark and I can't see anything. And it will make it worse if it's in the water. Underwater, I can't even see anything. I can see up ahead there are a few houses. Maybe we're gonna check them out. There's still a few more houses to explore. And I definitely think that one of these houses, there is an enemy that will jump scare me and will attack me. What do you think? I think the best way is to unload one gun so that the other gun will have more bullets. Hopefully there's no creatures nearby. I don't have much bullets left. Maybe some of you who have played Stalker 1 may have a rough idea on what to do, where to go, and maybe who to find. Looks like there's nothing inside the car. Maybe you should move on. At first I thought we can enter the car. Hmm, there's something here. Oh my gosh, this... <laughs> so far, I think the game is really very good in terms of striking the right balance it's not too scary but at the same time it's interesting and i want to find out more but honestly it's not a really a straightforward game never have i seen a medikit is to recover your health and a band-aid is to stop the bleeding this is actually quite a uh, technical not an easy straightforward game but I think with more game time I think we should improve and get better
you know I'm not even moving but there are a lot of noises around another weapon I really have a strong feeling that we are gonna face strong adversary later on you know after this haunted house But um, overall, I think the game is very scary. I don't but think it'll be that easy. Interesting. But I'll figure it out. Interesting to the fact that I want to find out more and what will happen next. Can it not frighten you? Ah, I think I saw something. What the fuck happened here? Let's try to open up this green box. The goat is dead. So are the other scientists. Dead? Oh God! We're That's the clue. I think we're really gonna fight this one it. creature or monster Stop later on. Stop freaking out and tell me where the data is stored. Find his laptop. The coordinates should be in there. Means a new bill. 
The goat is dead. I'm Mr. Client. Whoa! That's a hell of a mess you got there, boys. Well, screw that smart-ass bastard. I never liked him anyway. Hold on a sec, Mr. Client. Did Herman at least tell you what to do with the coordinates? Remind me. Holy fucking cow. Will you let me eat in peace for once? All right. Follow the coordinates and stick your scanner into the ground, and then back off. When it's all done, you pick it up. Got it? If not, that's your problem. I'm not a damn help desk. So long, Mr. Client. Do you have the coordinates? I hope you do. Things are about to get a little more complicated from here. Good thing it's been a walk in the park until now. First, find the detector. This is a mobile oh my, map. I'm pretty sure that door was closed. Have at least one. I've already got an artifact with this thing. You'll need to yeah, that's right. So we need to find the artifact. From a scanner's radiation. The map even shows we are in the correct spot. How? Oh my gosh, I really heard something moving. Do you heard then that? Use the detector signal to navigate it. If the stalkers have figured it out, I'm sure you can too. I think I'm nearby to the artifact. That's why the beeping is getting louder. Just try not to get killed in the anomaly. That would be rather embarrassing. Hmm, something is really not right. But the map shows I'm in the correct place. Finally, I think there's an artifact. You know, the background music and noise is giving me clues that an enemy is close by. The artifact looks like it can slot in into that box. Let's see how it goes. I think we need to look out for a creature or monster because that's what it says over the radio. Oh my god! Bloody hell! Apologies for my language because I'm really shocked. Oh my god, oh my god! I keep transparent. Oh, there. Oh bloody hell! <laughs> so next we're just gonna follow the direction on the map Which is at the top of the screen, can you see the exclamation mark?
Dann auch Scanner hier. Oh. Charging always this noisy? No, but that rock of yours is pretty unusual. Check so the scanner, scanner quick. Is it charged? Whoa, my life is really low. <clears throat> nope. Calm down. I got some okay, time so left. When I don't want Heading to for the next spot. Sorry, off my light. Oh no, someone saw me. I'm hiding here. There's no hiding from us!
think the radiation level is high. Need to get out of here. Okay, now my night just gonna run. Run! Okay, so when your energy or stamina level is low, you can't run. See what's gonna happen next. Oh my god, there's fire. There's fire and I'm happily eating bread. Whoa, whoa. How do I stop the fire? I think that's grab and go. Herman, daughter's premium coordinates smell like a scam. His coordinates always work like a job. High radiation levels here. We'll I find we out soon. Some vodka. Interesting. Vodka cures radiation. Skip, are you there? The place is swarming with soldiers. They're gonna shut everything down, and then you'll never get out of the zone. Just one spot left. Did you hear me? I'm low on energy, so I need to do this to the right. I've got nowhere to go back to, Herman. Over and out. The next objective is just about 4 meters away. Okay guys, here's the secret tip that I promised to share with you earlier. So after playing this chapter, I realized that this hidden stash here, you should actually just stash all your weapons items everything okay because after which you can come back you'll understand when you finish seeing the video so do stash everything here Okay guys, so when you place a scanner here, that's it about for this mission. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy and learn something for this video. I really, really appreciate if you like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again soon. In the next mission of Stalker 2.
what's that? Some kind of anomaly. What? I see the scanner. Tracing for anomalous activity in radio signals. Situation unclear. You, inside. You, to the roof. Move out. HQ, Ulex reporting. Come in, HQ. Damn it! Dr. PDA detected. Someone here! Oh, no. Finish him, and let's make tracks. 